Hey guys, I'm going to do a little clip here. Um, this was a channeling. Um, is life a test? Uh, life is not a test, it's a choice. Many people think life is a test. You're being tested by the universe. You're being tested by source, by your angels, your guides. But it's not, it's a choice. Everything that we do is choice, right? So to say it's a test would be to say it is against you when it is for you. Everything is for you. We're the choosing. So we're the chosen ones, right? So you are a part of the whole, not separate from, for you are, you are a part of the whole, not separate from you, is the only test um, of yourself of where you are, right? What you were leaving as the test, right? Right, and so <clears throat> you are against yourself, so you are a test to yourself, um, if you want to call it that but it's actually just a limitation. And so if the struggle is real, that you see in your reality that suggests that something outside of you is against you, it's because your awareness is limited by its view, right? So what are you seeing it through? Uh, you're not seeing beyond the human concept reality just because you can't win what you are doing here, you are or what you are after. So if your reality is that there is a test, you don't know who you are, for if you knew who you were truly are, then you would know this is not true, right? So there's nothing outside of you nor against you that is testing you, it's all you. That's of the creation. Because uh, Source created everything in favor of you, so why would you choose that there's something against you or testing you? It's an illusion. Um, everything has been given to you, so why would you be tested? Why give your power away to things that doesn't exist? It, those are thoughts, right? We believe or think that things are against us when everything is for us. For the experience to be without is it which is lacked, not abundance, right? And so when you give your power away or succumb to suffering, so right away you know it's not true, which is love which is the only thing that does exist. So the only thing that does exist is love, the one source, and the one truth. Everything else comes from that in different layers and in, in separation, depending on where you are along the stream of consciousness with that. Um, you're either divinely connected or you're not. In your separation, you may think that the universe is against you or you're suffering or something outside of you is trying to overtake you, but it's our perception reality of that that's creating that experience for you, right? So we're of our own creation. If we understand that and know who we are, then we would understand how that is, right? And so it all comes from love, the union of one, not separation, which is you, to who you are being in human context to form. Because our main ingredient is love, right? We come from source, right? So everything is for us, not against us. And there's nothing outside of us but ourselves creating it. And I talked about this in the last video about, um, talked about, well, a little bit about the creation of it, like when we're, uh, the job video um, that I had with a client, and that's what came up is like when we're in a situation that isn't in a line with who we are, it becomes unknown. And so from the knowing it becomes the creation of something that helps us to see it from a different perspective on a larger scale as we continue to ignore it, right? And so that's what creates the experience. And of seeing what we're seeing and experiencing, but we think it's something else outside of ourselves, but it's just there to help us, bring us back to ourselves, right? In that, that, in that awareness, right? And so it's the pronounced version of itself. If you don't know who it is that you are and what you're creating, right? And so we like to call it the backup plan living in the paradigms and the belief systems um, of the human consciousness of that which we are not that which is now in the time of expansion of the new version of itself. When you become into awareness, then you are, then you know who it is that you are. You know there's nothing outside of yourself. You know that there's nothing to be fearful of except for your own creation, right? the experience. And so stand in the present moment and see really who is doing to whom to what or what to whom. Um, so question your existence and what you're creating and why you're truly and who you truly are beyond the form. Um, in the experience. So there is no test in life. It's your belief systems. So why live under distress, learn how to operate this piece of machinery <laughs> you call the human form and open a new door to a new world and live in bliss. Happy journeys.